it is me sailor venus mina here and today i know <coughs> that i should have talked about this about you know three months ago but i didn't have time three months ago so we're going to talk about nick kong being the head leadership fellow at wwe now the rank of head leadership fellow in wwe was not crafted until nine between 98 YL when WWE became a a outless uh, acted or imported business and the first one who held that rank was Linda McMahon from nine between 98 YL to 2009 YL followed by Vince McMahon from 2009 YL to 2022 YL Followed by Stephanie McMahon from 2022 YL to 2023 YL, and followed by Nick Kong in 2023 YL to now. Nick Kong seems to have a good thought, a good head for business, even though he was only he's only been in WWE since 2020 YL, when he took over as the force setter of WWE, which that rank has been around at least as early as that rank has been around for some time and many folks had it. The offshoot between the true rank and the Farseer show rank is kind of misleading, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Uh, Nick Kong came to WWE in 2020 YL after George Bosliss and Michelle D. Wilson were both fired <coughs> and both of them were half leaders half of them were four setters and Nick Kong took their stead now <clears throat> when Stephen Mann stepped down earlier this year Nick Kong became the full leadership fellow at WWE because he was a half leadership fellow at WWE with her and um when Vince McMahon became the leadership for the leadership seatman fellow. Now, a lot of folks have a belief that Nick Kong or Nicholas Kong happens to be kin to Shell Kong and Anthony Kong, but that's not true. Yes, they might have the same kin name, but their kin are not kin to each other. Shell Kong and Anthony Kong, well, Shell Kong came from Pakistanish land where Nick Kong and his kin came from Iranish land so they might have the same kin name but they're not kin to each other and he's been doing he's been doing very well everyone seems to everyone seems to like what seems to like working for him you know and he would be the first Nun McMahon to be the head leadership fellow of WWE. Oh yeah, now WWE's had many four setters, and I'm talking about the ones that had true oversight, not the ones that were on the show. Yeah, like there was William Grasberg, there was Arnold Skolin, then there was uh, truly. Then after that, then there was you know Linda McMahon, and then Stan Snyder. And then Dana Goldsmith, and then George Bros, and Michelle D. Wilson, and Nick Kong, and then Frank A. Roderick. Anyway, he seems to be doing very well. I don't know that much about him beyond what I read, you know. And you might ask yourself, well, who is listed underneath leadership and who works underneath him? Well, underneath him is Frank A. Rock, uh, Roderick, who is the four-setter and head income fellow of WWE. Hunter Hurst Helmsley, the head works fellow of WWE. And Kevin Dung, the head showrunner fellow of WWE. Those are the ones on leadership, if you go to WWE's website, that work underneath him but there's a whole bunch of other folks who work underneath him who is he answerable to well the WWE board of overseers the leadership seatman fellow at WWE Vince McMahon because he took back 
the rank of seat men for the two-if time, but it was a newly crafted rank because WWE didn't have a leadership seatman fellow before. So I think that Nick Hong is does really well as a wrestling business owner or at least a head leadership fellow. And uh, if WWE is ever bought by any business, be it or Comcast, or Walt Disney business, news business, Amazon or Strong Woman, or Netflix or whatever business ends up buying WWE as an offshoot, Nick Kong would be the business head. Well, everybody else would be heading up their on-look teams. There would be team leaders and they would be leadership, uh, head leadership fellow and everybody else would be a head leadership in some way. Well, some are team leaders, some are leadership under four setters and some are just head you know what so I know I should have talked about this about you know three months ago but I didn't have time to talk about it until now now a lot of folks uh, think that you know it would be hard to run a business that you only been working for since 2020 while but Nick Kong was a fast learner he learned a lot of he learned a lot from Vince McMahon when Vince McMahon was a seatman and a head leadership fellow at WWE. He learned a lot from working with Stephanie McMahon when she was the lead, the seat woman and half leadership fellow at WWE. And he also learned a lot from the head works fellow at WWE, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, as well as the head four setter and head income fellow at WWE, Frank A. Rodericks. And I guess he learned a lot from head showrunner fellow W Kevin Dunn. So yeah. Now I know a lot of folks out there wonder of all the shoot all the things going on in WWE mostly is his doing. You know so a lot of the things that WWE is doing, at least the business end, is mostly him. So anyway that's all the time I'm going to talk about, you know, Nick Kong or Nicholas Kong, the first Nun McMahon head leadership fellow at WWE. And if you like this film, follow me over here at the uh, Sailor Moon for Life. What's the other film I made yesterday over here? Oh, it's Sailor Neptune's birthday gathering. I, Sailor Venus Mina, and I'll see you later. Bye.